Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, goddammit, I said hold up! Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I thought you said that thing didn't work. You know, hello might have been a place to start. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. God damn it! Run! Follow me! Too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! God damn it! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go, now! How be high! Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. 
Lee, instead of just standing there like a goddamn mute, maybe you could give us a hand here? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? The shovel is never not useful. Looks like something was buried here. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Don't know yet. Clementine, honey, come sit with me in our need. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Ta-da! What? Am I in trouble? Looks okay from here. Everybody in! Okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? 
How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. All clear in here. Just one more to check. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Ah, uh, just some whiskey. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Clementine, Krista asked you a question, and both of us would like an answer. Who have you been talking to? I don't know. He said he was a friend. He said he could help me find my mom and dad. I told him we were looking for them in Savannah. Clementine, look at me. What else have you told this man? Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny, you okay, man? 
man. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on?
What, Lee? What the hell were you shouting at? Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? He knows what he saw. He just doesn't want to tell us. Lee, what the hell happened out here? All right, that's it. We've been cooped up here less than an hour, and we're already going stir-crazy. It's time to get back on track. We'll get ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. Lee, say something. Tell him we're not ready to leave yet. Omid can barely even walk. Is he gonna be any more ready to leave tomorrow, after that wound of his has had another day to fester? His best chance, our best chance, is to get the hell out of here before our situation gets any worse. Kenny's right, Krista. The sooner we find someplace else, the better. Are you just gonna sit this one out? Great. Just great. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me! Yeah, but that was before we... This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what, if I ever need an expert opinion on American history, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me?
I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Something like this. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. in this city. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmud Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. What the hell? Hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? No objections? Good. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. Crawford? 
What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Hi, I'm Clementine. This is Lee and Kenny. Hi, my name's Molly. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No. I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. So, why aren't there any kids in Crawford? Because Crawford doesn't allow them. No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Children. The town leaders got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, justify the protection Crawford gave them. To them, a kid was just another mouth to feed, one that couldn't pull their own weight in return. That's just goddamn wrong. That's sick. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. So why the fuck have you been following us? Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival, they'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that was pretty smart, the bears. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Is 
Losing at the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... You just gonna let her go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please don't leave us! Come on! Make it fast! Time. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Thing I'm out here, but not in there. Mm, seems loose. Shit.
must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Fallout shelters. Who are you? Nobody. Just lost. Trying to get back home. Yeah, well, you took a wrong turn. This is our home, not yours. And you're not welcome here. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh, God. Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me, who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. We are from Crawford. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so... You're sick? My friend here asked you a question. We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. Now we're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now, I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. 
Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. You can either show me the way back or die right here. What's it gonna be? You son of a bitch! Sorry, but it's like you said. We've all got our own problems. It's all right, Bree. I'll show you the way back to your people, and then I hope I never see you again. Deal. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? What were you doing? Just looking. Figured you might have something you want to donate as a thank you for getting your friends back safely. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clem's drawings, but where is she? Clementine, you here? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Molly? 
I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Clementine, where are you? Clementine? Clementine! I know, right?
Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Can't I come with you? You don't think I should go, do you?
Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omid. But what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here. I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid... I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out and try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? doing inside here get inside fast Guess is as good as mine. Shit! What the hell happened here? 
I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Did he just say this is a good thing? Look at it this way. Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? So, what about a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? This 
This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. Damn, it's jammed tight. <laughs> Better not get too close. Wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. No 
no power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Complaining. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Just yet. 
Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's a hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. No tape inside. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. What's this? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry.
Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. No. 
I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Oh! 
Oh, Jesus. Chip! Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the hell were you doing out here anyway? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Where's Molly? I don't think she made it. This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead. Tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a boat fucking killed! If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group, and that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs!
Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Come on, let's go! Omid? Clementine! Clementine! You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them, but no. Clementine, what happened here? When one of those things got inside, it tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Homemade. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Where's Molly? She, uh, she didn't make it, Clem. I'm sorry. I liked her. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omid? Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clementine, when did you last check on him? Like an hour ago? He was awake then. He was fine. Is he... I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you, the kind of leader you are, they're not gonna make it much longer. And your kid...
kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I know it's a lot to consider, but I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clementine. This may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes, for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford, so I made a decision, and I left him behind. I know that sounds bad, but I had to think about the whole group, not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you know. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! Him? 
no. Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's his. Look at his arm. He, he's been bitten. He's bitten! Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. Holy shit. And Vernon ain't here anymore. Did he take her? Don't know. I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Hey, don't mention it. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me, asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. You know what, Kenny? Go fuck yourself. You're gonna let a little girl die. Because I didn't have your back every damn minute. Maybe you should grow the fuck up. Do whatever you want, asshole. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I sure as hell have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. And then you lose your shit when they don't bend over backwards to help you? Well, fuck you! You're on your own now. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lift a finger. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Come on, guys, let's go. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Bitch!